Hey, hey, hey! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The weather's getting warmer outside, and that means that spring sports are just around the corner. And you know, with all the hubbub about spring sports, we decided we would interview some of the varsity athletes who will be participating in them. Let's go find out. Uh, my name is Donnie Wu. I'm a senior, and I play golf. Um, I'm Van Corcoran. I'm a sophomore, and I play golf. Well, I would say uh, this, this year we have so some people, including myself and Van, coming back to play who have already played uh, last year. And we have some, some new people coming in, too. So I think, I think you would agree with me yeah. that we're probably going to have a pretty good season. Um, hopefully, I think we should be able to get a couple guys into sectionals, if not our whole team. So that's probably a goal that we would, that we would have. Yeah. I think also just winning conference again would be yeah. another, yeah, another, another one of the, the goals one. of winning. Yeah. Uh, I want my 18-hole average to be in the 70s somewhere, um, and 9-hole average probably just below, I'd say probably around 37 would be good. So. Yeah, for 18 holes for me, I think like 82, 83, and then for 9 holes probably 42, 43. I am Andrew Pagatti, and I'm a senior, and I'm playing volleyball this year. Uh, I'm Ryan Boltema, I'm a senior and I play volleyball. Personally, me, expectation is probably beating a record from last season. I think that would be a pretty big goal. And then personal um, goal probably would be try to beat my stats from last year. Uh, for me, probably the same thing. Just a better record from last year and how we did last year. And a personal one would be to uh, be a better team player and to uh, get a better uh, stat record personally as well. Uh, I'm Josh Viss. Uh, I'm a senior and I play second and I pitch. Uh, I'm Kevin. I'm a senior. Uh, I pitch and play outfield. I think one of the things that we could improve on is like not playing down to our competition during the season. There's there's there were a few games that I think we should have come out with a win or we just didn't play to like what we could have, so probably yeah, not playing down to the competition. Yeah, I agree with that, but I'm also saying is we lost a lot of seniors last year, a lot of guys that played a lot. So come in and do the little things right, not always trying to win the game with one swing, but being able to do a, a lot of little things to end up when in the game. Yeah, that's, that's what we gotta aim for, we gotta aim big. Yeah. Yeah, uh, obviously state title, but also I think kind of set an expectation for years to come. So when people come and they see Ileana, they, they know how they play, how they act, kind of set an example for the next wave of Ileana baseball players. Well, first we have we have these things called accountability groups where it like has different like it's like mixes up grade levels and uh, events so you can like talk to each other about like where you're at in the season and we also do like sometimes we'll all warm up together or we'll also do stretching together and like our hexathlon where you basically do like any event and you just get to talk to other people. Yeah, I would say the coaches give a lot of opportunities for the different events to kind of bond together with the accountability groups and just as the seniors, as the leaders, you're kind of trying to make sure that everyone's like getting along, I would say. Yeah, and when we have meets, like we are required to stay through the whole thing so that during the meets, we just encourage every event and we're there during every event and it's just fun and we warm up and cool down together. So you're just kind of talking to new people you're not normally with. Yeah, if there's a race going on and you're sitting on your butt in the tent, then they're gonna make you get up and cheer for the race, yeah. so. Uh, well, it's always would be nice to make it to state, but <laughs> we, that's have, we have one thing. person who's not coming back yeah, this year. If anything, like, it'd be like our four by eight team, but yeah. we're losing a girl, so. 
but so we'll definitely hopefully make it to regionals, mm -hmm. which that's always good. But yeah, I know a PR is always good to have yeah. throughout the season, so those are always good to hit. Yeah, I think because I've been training a lot on the off season, so I'm trying to get down to the high twenties, low thirties in my eight hundred time, in my lower five minute mile. Not like a five minute flat, but like in that range. Yeah, I would just say in general, like, everyone wants to get better at their event, hit PRs, you know, it's always nice to see that, you know, get first place at a bunch of our meets, you know, uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, Sabri Lopez, and I am in tennis in the spring. I am Ava Lindemolder, and I play tennis as well. Um, this year, I'm super excited because I have pretty high expectations for our team this year. We have lost a couple of good players that we mm -hmm. had last year, but we have definitely gained very good players. We have Giannak Vukas coming this yeah, year, I'm which gonna, we're very excited about. I'm excited for sectionals. I feel like we'll be able to do a lot better than we have in the past. I so. agree. I I'm think excited. so. We have good mm -hmm. expectations to be bigger schools than we usually are. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to become a better doubles player and to see where that goes. I don't know, hopefully well, as a team we'll all be better and I feel like we have a much higher chance of beating bigger schools like Crump Point, Munster, those are always harder ones that we've come close to in the past, but I feel like we'll definitely have a much better chance this year, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, for sure. Um, kind of going off Ava, my personal goal this year would be to um, be Lake Central or Crown Point, wh whichever one we play in sectionals, because those are usually the two schools that I lose to in sectionals, so my goal is to beat one of them, at least, so we can advance to regionals. Yeah. All right. My goal for this team that I have is to grow friendships together and just, like, since we have a young team, just work together and, yeah. Our goal, or my goal for the team would be that we build relationships and focus on winning every pitch and not focusing on how, like, being successful each game, just, like, getting better each game and hopefully helping us to make it far in postseason. A personal goal I have is to have less people score on me this year and, like, get more strikeouts, and to be like first team all state. <laughs> My personal goal would be to be a leader since we did lose a lot of, or majority of our team last year. We're gonna have a lot of new girls and I wanna make sure that we connect and build team chemistry. And I think a great way for doing that would be being a leader. And I also wanna get my average up, you know. All right.